gravitational waves in 60 seconds. Okay, one, two, three, go. Right, imagine this sheet of paper is space-time and this pomegranate is a black hole. Space-time is distorted by its mass. Now imagine you have two black holes spiralling around each other. As they do so, they create ripples in that fabric of space-time, and these are called gravitational waves. The two objects lose energy by emitting these waves, and eventually they lose so much energy that they spiral into one another and collide. This can be two neutron stars, two black holes, or one of each. Now, while this sounds very extreme, the signal is actually weak. When a gravitational wave passes through Earth, it squeezes and stretches space-time, a bit like this hair elastic, stretched this way in, but you can see it shrinks this way. This causes the distance that lasers in gravitational wave detectors travel, because the space is squeezed and stretched, and these changes are detected as a signal. It looks a bit like this, where this peak here is um, where two black holes coalesce into one. Now, when we see the rest of the universe with our eyes using light waves, this provides us with a new way to hear the universe. Okay, that was 60 seconds. A little bit more, it's a completely new type of astronomy and allows us to understand really mysterious objects like black holes that we could no otherwise find out information about.